Hello PC Gaming News here and uh, welcome to how to create a ticket server 3.1.3 um, So first off just make a, a new folder on the desktop which is new right click new folder I'll put that to the side that's for later on um, I've already downloaded my stuff but I'll show you how it's done so open up the internet and uh, search in Google whatever ticket and it'll be the top one, Tech It, Technic Pack. Now, straight away, it should come on Tech It because that's what I searched. Um, now, you'll need both of these download the Tech It server and download the Technic launcher. Um, once you click on it and it goes for download, you choose what you need and stuff like that Windows or Linux or Mac, whatever. Um, it'll obviously download it in your download section, drag it onto your desktop here which I've already done and this is where you'll be up to now so what you need to do is drag your ticket server into the new folder open the new folder up and uh, open the ticket server up you'll need WinRAR, WinZip, 7-Zip, uh, whatever and um, it is a zip folder so you'll need 7-Zip or WinZip and all you need to do is just drag and drop these into the new folder Call the new folder whatever you want. You can call it Technic uh, Launch uh, Technic Ticket Server. Sorry. Um, now, right away you want to double click Launch. Now it should be as a, a batch file or a dot bat. If it's a Notepad, just right click Edit and put dot bat at the end. Um, so you double click that, and straight away mine's worked. Um, if yours don't work. I have a, a, an error video how to fix it um, I'll put that on the screen now it, it covers different sorts of errors for creating a ticket te server um, and if it says Java not recognized um, the reason for that is because once you open I think it's because you've got a 64 bit computer now if it does do that go into your program files times 86 here and you find your Java file in here which is there and just copy it into the programs file there, just copy it into here and try it again and hopefully it'll work if not you know let us know and I'll see what I can uh, see if I can help you out so uh, anyway now it's all done I'll just uh, close that down there and as you can see there's loads more new stuff like um, the ops server and the properties file now if you open the properties file it should be in a, a notepad if it don't open right click it open with and it'll pop up here browse and browse your computer for notepad word, wordpad uh, stuff like that so once it's open there's uh, loads of different stuff that you can change here to like um, your max players your pvps on spawn animals if you want whitelist it um, you won't need to change anything in there anyway so I'll just minimize that to there put that in the corner there now once that's done you want to go on your Technic Launcher now make sure you load up your Technic Launcher I've got it opened up here um, not your Minecraft Launcher um, so once it's loaded up it'll look like this you want to put in your, your Minecraft username and your password uh, remember it's totally safe and uh, make sure you click the ticket here <coughs> not the yog box not any other ticket so I'll click that and log in now while that's logging in because it does take some time I'll just minimize that uh, you will need Hamachi for this uh, there's a new update for ticket would you like to update yes let's update um, Hamachi is here so download Hamachi it's free just search Hamachi in Google um, and once you've got it it'll just look like this you um, click the power button here um, you might need to create your own sort of um, username and stuff like that which is which is simple um, and once it's done I've got um, Rob and Tim in my little network here and to create a network you just cre uh, network create a network and you put in any network ID and any password what your friends can join 
No, you need to make sure the password that your friends put in is exactly the same as the one here. And um, I'll show you what you need a match you for on this side of the section here after this is updated. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so now it's updated. Um, a good thing for to do before uh, you do log in, because I logged in and it updated, what you want to do is go to your options and make sure that you've got always use development builds. Now this automatically puts it to the latest um, tech it server basically which is 3.1.3 um, normally it's on recommended builds so press ok there and uh, log in there um, and then it'll say update which it did for me so uh, mine's already updated let this load up here and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now the Technic launcher is actually open onto Minecraft. Now you can see it says 41 mods loaded, etc. etc. It says all this sort of stuff in the bottom left hand side. Um, now, what you want to do is go to your multiplayer or just go on single player, whatever you want to do. Um, but if you want your friends to join, what you want to do is um, add a server, call it, you know, whatever you want, whatever you want. Um, now the IP that you want to put in is your whoever's hosting the server, which is this little bit here when you click launch. That's the person who needs to put the IP address there. So the IP address is this here. Just right click on your Amatcha, copy the IP4 address, right click there, oh sorry not right click, uh, press Control and V and it automatically goes in or you can just copy it like like it is there and uh, press done so that's not that's uh, that's all done there now now if you want your friend to join he clicks network join a, an existing network and like I said before network ID password copying the exact same and it'll look like this here um, and then if it's your friend who's joining you go on add server do the exactly same thing that I've just done there so now that's done can minimize that right there go on to your server file your server folder click the launch again and once it's all loaded up now hopefully it should work now if your friends can't join um, try turning off your firewall the person whoever's hosting the server try turning off the firewall because sometimes it does block people from you know joining the server for some reason it happens to me with Robin Tim so you know I don't know why it what happens but it does um, as you can see now it says done um, if I refresh this now it's all green all, all looking good join server it'll probably lag now so I do apologize I'll just show you dead quick that it does work it's a bit loud there you go it's a bit lagger uh, so that's basically it. Um, there's all your your ticket stuff. That's all that. That's all that. So now that's done. If you do have any problems, let me just turn this off. Sorry about that. If you do have any problems trying to set up, there is um, an error video that I made that I said before, which I'll put up again now. Um, it may have your problem there. Um, thanks for watching and if it helps please give it a like and uh, subscribe to our channel. See you guys later. Bye.